Hi guys, happy Tuesday. Today we're drawing Beetlejuice. So, as always, you're going to need your paper, pencil, and black line marker. And then to color Beetlejuice, we're going to be using black, red, green, and yellow. Now, before we get started, here's a huge thing. You can't say Beetlejuice three times. Okay. Good morning and happy Tuesday. Today we're going to be creating Beetlejuice. So we're going to be starting in the middle of our paper, creating Beetlejuice's head, and working downward to create his body, leaving a lot of room for a background if you'd like to add one. The first thing that we're going to do when we draw Beetlejuice is create his head shape. We're going to start with an oval, and we're going to make sure we put enough room on the inside of it order to add all of Beetlejuice's facial features. Notice that I'm working my lines up very lightly to get the shape that I want. It doesn't have to be perfect the first time. But we just want a nice oval shape that we can work off of. Now the next thing that we're going to do is start moving the face and creating the face shape out of this oval. So the first thing I'd like you to do is think about taking this oval shape and kind of cutting it in half. At the halfway point, I want you to create some cheeks for your character. Now, on the right side of the face, we're going to come out a little bit with a curved line and bring it down in under the oval to create a cheek. But then on our left side, we're going to come out that same area. Instead of going to the bottom, we're going to go past it. So our sides are not going to be symmetrical, meaning the same on both sides. This side is going to go past. And instead of bringing it straight down to the middle, it should actually kind of open up as if it's becoming part of the neck. Now, under our cheek here, we're going to come out and kind of create the other side of the neck. So you're going to bring that down so your two sides under the face line up. And then we can bring them together at a point. So we have one cheek that feels a little bit bigger than the other one keeping with that whole thing about not being symmetrical, we're going to see that happen in our eyes here too. The first thing I'd like you guys to do is create on your left side one big circle eye. So I say big because it's going to be nice and open. Our other eye is going to have some more character to it. Above your eye, I'm going to have you guys create a brow an eyelash, or a, I'm sorry, an eyebrow, but then you're going to come downward, and we're going to go up, and go back down, and we're going to go straight across to the side of the face, so almost creating like a turn V shape here. Now because this goes down so far, our next eye we're only going to draw half of it. Okay, So we have like a half circle instead of the whole circle that we had before on the other side. If you notice between our brow being angled, one eye being bigger and smaller, we're starting to get a little bit of attitude out of our character and that's exactly what we want. Now, in between those eyes, we're going to curve out to the side a little bit, a curved line, and then we'll bring it back in to make a nose. I'm going to add a 
little circle next to that for a nostril. Directly under our nose, we're going to create a nice curved line for a smile on top of a smile. And we'll put two smile lines right under our cheeks. And then we're going to open this mouth by coming down farther on each side, leaving an open space. Here in this space, we can create our teeth. And now, our teeth are going to each be very unique. And they can be different sizes, but we're just going to create squares. You can put overlap, you can put space between. The grislier, the better. <laughs> All right, once we have our teeth on, I'm just going to pop up here real quick and put my pupil in. I'm going to put that one straight in the center of the eye. And my second one close to that top brow. Awesome. All right. So our face is really coming together. But we need some hair. So going straight up to the top of my head, I'm going to add a little bit of a V shape at the very top that's overlapping the forehead. I'm going to create a halo of hair up above that V. I'll sprout a couple wavy line curved triangles for the top of my hair. And I'm going to come down some nice wavy lines over the side. Same on the other side little tiny zigzag lines and wavy lines as I go, filling it out towards the bottom. Then just bring it back up into the side of the head. I'm going to erase some of my original oval lines there to make my face one big hole, as you guys can see. Awesome. Now, as I go into the body here, I'm going to come down at an angle off of both sides of my head. And I'm going to go down almost two sides, or two, if I take from the bottom of my chin here, I go down there. One, to almost two head sizes. I'm going to make this triangle. Now, out of this triangle, I go up and about halfway through, I'm going to put a rounded bottom. This is going to be where Beetlejuice is stomach falls, and under it, we'll see kind of the sides of his suit jacket. So, after, under that tummy, these are going to be the sides of the suit jacket that we just sort of cut out. So, I'm going to erase this middle line, and then inside of this area, I'm going to trace that shape a little bit rounder, and then I'm going to put a tie by creating an upside down triangle, and then I'm going to angle it sort of to the side here a little bit. area around here that we made kind of serve as the collar to our suit jacket. 
we're going to then come out from each side a little bit. This can underlap under the hair if you want. And we're just going to come down again to make some arms. Then, under us here, we're just going to kind of go down straight. I'm going to make another triangle in between for legs. Last but not least, we are going to add some stripes to Beetlejuice's suit by making some lines across on the arms, but then up and down on the body of the suit and on the legs. Let's go ahead and give this picture some ink and color. Alright guys, there we go. Now I'm sure you guys are going to make an awesome background and add some cool spooky effects to Beetlejuice, but for me, I'm all done, which means that I signed my picture. I'm really proud of all your hard work today, guys. Great job. Alright guys, we're all done for today. I hope you had a great time drawing Beetlejuice with me, and I can't wait to see you tomorrow for more art class. Until then, be kind and creative. And have an amazing day. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.